Falcons fans. It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan, here with another Falcons film breakdown and our first of the year of a Falcons rookie, Dedrin Sanat. You're going to see him right there in the middle of the screen playing one tech uh, with Derek Shelby on his right-hand side. The point of this breakdown is to show the power and skill that Dedrin Sanat has. This, uh, this play that I'm about to show has actually been a tweet on Twitter multiple times. Uh, so this is not a new piece of film, uh, but it is something that people need to understand. Dedrick Snott was brought in here to be a nose tackle, to be a disruptive defensive tackle for the Atlanta Falcons, to be a inside terror. And put that next to Grady Jarrett, who's already also a terror, or put that next to Justin Crawford, who's already a terror, or put that next to uh, Derek Shelby, who you're going to see on this play, makes an amazing cut on the inside and forces the running back to go nowhere. Put that next to Tack McKinley, Vic Beasley, and so on and so forth, and you create a monster. Because if you go look back at uh, Dedrick Sanat's college film, which I will at some point bring up to you guys, Dedrick Sanat is a pain in the ass to block. And he dropped all the way to the third round because of other players being a little more prolific than him, but he is super underrated in here is why. Dedrick Snot starts off this play right here in the center, and he's gonna go up actually against the center and get great extension. You're gonna see him with a great extension and low center of gravity. You're gonna see him really get the explosion out on this. What's so funny is that the, the center is trying to turn him to his left. Meanwhile, Dedrin Sanat has gotten the better leverage and gone right underneath the arms and is now pushing up and through. When we see the play continue to develop, the left arm strength and the push off to push the center back into the backfield you can see that power and that disruption, and it forces the running back to do something very, very odd for, for this play design. The play design is meant to cut right up in between Dedrick Sanat and Derek Shelby, but look at that hole where Dedrick Sanat and Derek Shelby are right now, even blocked up. The only way that this running back can make this play work is if the, uh, the swing, or excuse me, not the swing tackle, but the fullback here, and the right tackle and this tight end can get more momentum and open up the outside of the field. And one of the problems with that is as the play develops is that he cannot cut back because Dedrick Sanat has pushed <laughs> the center into the backfield next to the running back and has closed that gap where the run is supposed to go. And the right tackle has now been taken advantage of by Derek Shelby by the way, hashtag look out for Derek Shelby 2018. And Derek Shelby has closed down this play as well. As the play continues to develop, you see that even the, uh, the fullback and the tight end could not fully open up the space. And this creates a pocket where the Falcons can now quickly and efficiently, all because of interior pressure, collapse this play into a tackle for loss. Let's watch it one more time. In full speed. Boom, pow, gets the leverage, pushes him right off, collapses, the po collapses this space. Watch it again. And I'll pause it right about here. Putting a lineman, and Vox Lombardi will say this, Deuce Windham will say this, Law Nation will say this, go check out all of their channels, you'll see the, uh, the cards up atop. But watching this space get collapsed when an offensive lineman is put on skates is a running back's worst nightmare because when you have full momentum going one direction, especially on a counter play or a power play to the outside or an outside zone play where you're supposed to have a cutback lane on the inside or an option back to the outside, when you see something like this, where there is no lane to go, where there is nowhere to go because interior pressure did its job, where interior pressure was able to push someone into the backfield. That is, that is legendary. That is a gift. And 
you're going to see more of Dedrick not doing that over and over and over and over this season when he gets those opportunities. And Dan Quinn is not shy of playing his rookies, especially since he knows that he can grow those players. But that is a different discussion for a different time. Hashtag Mike Smith, you're at fault. Now, all of that really awesome stuff being said, there is a little bit of a learning curve that Dedrick Sanat is going to have to have, even though I still love what he does on this play. It's not particularly that he causes a lot of havoc or that he puts a lot of pressure on the quarterback, but from the play standards, it was a quick throw to the running back on the outside here, and Dedrick Sanat still gets a play on the ball um, in, in a smaller effect. It really doesn't actually affect the play but let's just watch that just not here you're gonna see him in the middle playing what looks to be a one tech or almost zero gets a little bit of a push here and pushes the center off it's it's amazing to see the strength that he has great technique i think this is a still a little too high he's standing a little too high but for his size and his uh his ability it it definitely shows that pushing the center back having the quarterback to check down is a positive uh, allowing the linebackers to then make a play on that is also incredibly important now we start to see some real fun tape here because that first one showed uh Dedrick's not being able to push the center into the backfield and be able to get to or clog up a lane and then the second play that we saw was more of just straight bull rush power. Uh, not exactly affecting the play, but also in the same turn, uh, making the quarterback uh, choose a different route than he wanted. In this sense, we get to see Dedrick Sanat here in the middle. He's going to take on the center from the one tech position. Good arm extension here, watching the play from the backfield. Then the center basically just loses control. Just completely loses control. I don't know why. Um, I'm, I've am i watched this tape several times now. I cannot tell you anything other than if I had a back angle or a front angle, I could see the feet a little bit better, but he just looks like he falls. And maybe this was a problem for a lot of the players, but in in retrospect, looking at it as a, as a total, as a whole, Dedrick Sinat gets an opportunity here to clog up that same space remember when i said running backs cutting back inside zone outside zone running plays or power plays that attack a certain gap this is another one of those outside zone plays where you're wanting to condense the space you're wanting to find an area where dedrick sanat can make a play on this he overruns the play this is just something he will learn taking it think taking it a little bit slower you're wanting Dedrick Sanat to take it a little bit slower. Why? Because if Sanat takes it a little bit slower, this is a tackle for loss instead of an attempt at an arm tackle and it getting through and creating a few yards. Let's take at it one more time. Good extension with the arms immediately puts himself in control. The offensive lineman's arms are, again, not in control of Dedrick Sanat. So Dedrick now has complete control and dictates where things will go. Uh, now that I've seen this uh, several times, I'm starting to think that 83, who I believe is either a wide receiver or tight end, trips the center. So it's it's Dedrick Sanat all up to this particular point. If he controls how fast he's going, lateral movement is hard to control. It's hard to cut back unless you have a good center of gravity. Dedrick Sanat standing tall and going straight towards the side this play becomes a stop back here. I can't stress that enough. But an attempt at arm tackle, and that's where this play ends up. Well, guys, that wraps up my uh, Falcons film breakdown of Dedrick Sanat and my New to the Nest 2018 breakdown of De Dedrick Sanat. And we pretty much saw everything that was important. There were more plays, obviously. He got a lot of playing time. Uh, but those plays were mostly him getting washed out of uh, running situations or uh, not really showing any technique, a lot of bull rushing, and not a lot of actual get-to with the quarterback. But we will see more of him come preseason game two and preseason game three and so on and so forth. And you will see more breakdowns of his play and how he did 
uh, going forward. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to see more of him. Definitely go hit that notification bell, guys. Uh, definitely go hit that subscribe button so that you get to see my new content and get notified when my content drops. Definitely go check us out on Twitter and on Instagram at UNGR underscore show on both of those social media sites. We also have a brand new website. That's correct. You can go get all of these updates and information from www.ungrshow.com uh, and be able to see all of that stuff on there as well as a bunch of blogs and breakdowns on articles from some of our cool Falcons writers who have joined Unintentional Grounding. My name is Lieutenant Dan. This was a Falcons film breakdown new to the nest of Dedrin Sanat. And I will see you guys again real, real soon. Peace.